guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me for my second video I'm sorry it's taken me a little bit longer I am in the process of moving and it's taken me a little bit to get settled in but I do have some new products I'd like to share with you guys I've actually had a couple that I recently bought and they have become my new favorites and I guess that's it let's get started I'm gonna start with my facial spray that is cucumber and green tea I do like to put it on right before my primer because I feel like it gives my skin a little extra moisture. And I do like to dampen my beauty sponge with it as well after I've kind of soaked it. And next I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Master Prime Primer. And next, I'm going to be going in with my all-time favorite foundation now. It is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This is a medium to full coverage foundation. It does help cover my redness. I do have a lot, and a lot of my acne, I've noticed it does cover, and you don't have to use as much. I do use about two to three pumps on my face. go ahead and blend it out and I am using the shade light and I do like to just take it on my ears and down my neck as well as I'm blending it out And as you guys can tell a little bit how much it does actually cover compared to each side, especially around my eyes. I do like to take it over my eyelid to kind of use as an eyeshadow base. And my new concealer I have is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Um, a lot will say that this is the dupe for the Toit Shape Tape Concealer. I do notice they work about the same and have the same amount of coverage, but this one is $6 compared to $25 for the Toit. And this does actually have the big applicator as well. And with my concealer, I like to just press it in under the eye instead of pressing and dragging like my foundation. Because I feel like it does help to cover my dark circles a lot better than trying to push them out. And next, I am just going in with my Airspun setting powder as well. And I'm just going to use that for my bake under my eyes. And I do just like to take it and press it in my face just to kind of set the rest of my foundation. And I do just want to say, I do have a one and a half year old, so if you do hear him, that's just him yelling in the background. And I'm just going to let that set under my eyes for just a little bit longer. And I'm just going in with my same e.l.f. contour palette. This is actually one of my favorites. It's pretty cheap and it ha is very pigmented. And I'm still just going to take a more face. And while that's setting, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my contour. I'm just going in with the same e.l.f. palette. This is one of my favorites. It doesn't break the bank, and it's actually pretty pigmented. And I'm just going to take a more dense face brush. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with the two bottom colors.
And I do like to take it on my jawline as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and take just a little bit more dense brush. Sorry. As a nose contour. And next, because I'm going in with the same brow product from Benefit, I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, and now that my brows are on, I did go ahead and just dust my bake off and put a little bit of my setting powder on my eyes. I do like to do that because I noticed it'll help your eyeshadow stick just a little bit more instead of just putting it on foundation. And my next thing is my new Makeup Revolution palette. It is called the Death by Chocolate palette. And at first, I'm just going to pop up this light brown shade at the top and just kind of use that as my transition shade. And as that's set in, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this deep brown shade with the same blending brush. And I am using my BH Cosmetics brush. This is the number 8. And I'm just going to go ahead and layer it over the top of that lighter shade. And I'm just going to drag it down all over my eye. And this palette does have just a little bit of fallout, but it's not that bad. As you can see, it's kind of mixed in with my other eyeshadows. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a more fluffy eye blending brush and just go in with that lighter shade one more time to kind of soften up the top, soften up the top. And what I'm going to do with that more dense pack brush is just kind of take this kind of more pinky shade and mix it with the brown. Kind of drag it on my lower lash line. And now I'm just going to take my concealer one more time. And I'm just going to put it on my finger. You can use a brush or your finger, whichever one you'd like. And I'm just going to take it and just put it on the inside of my eye to kind of halfway to the middle to do a cut crease. This does help the not only the glitter stick, but it does help it show a little bit more than over the dark color. Alrighty, and then now I'm going to go ahead and go in with this gold shimmer shade. And kind of just put it over the concealer I just put on. I'm going to take a dense packing brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just squirt it a little bit with my MAC Fix Plus. It's just going to help the shimmer stick a little bit more to the eye than just using it dry. And then I'm just going to press it on there.
And then I'm just going to go in with that blending brush one more time and just take the two colors and kind of blend it out and soften it up. And then next, I'm just going to take the more dense packing brush and use, go on the lightest color down here and use it as my inner corner highlight. Okay. And then next, I'm going to be going in with my Wet n Wild eyeliner. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull down my eye a little bit and kind of put it in the waterline. And I do feel like the eyeliner just kind of makes it pop just a little bit more. And then I'm just going to be going in with my same Maybelline mascara. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop on some fake lashes and I'll be right back. Alrighty, and now that my false lashes are on, I am using the Ordell false lashes. I'm going to be going in with my highlight. One thing I like to do is to shake a shimmer shade out of the palette and use it as my highlight. I do notice that it works just as well. And sometimes I prefer them over some of the highlighters just with my eye look. And today I'm going to be going in with this really light shade down here that I did also use for my inner corner highlight that you can still see. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my cheek. And that is very blinding. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it on the other side as well. Alrighty, and last but not least, I do actually have a lipstick this time, unlike my first video. I do have the L'Oreal Infallible Lipstick. And this is in the shade Nudist. And this one does take a second to dry down. It takes about 15 minutes, I noticed, until you really don't get any of the lipstick coming back off. But this is the finished look, and I will scoot a little bit closer so you guys can see. And like I said, thank you guys for coming back to my channel. I hope you guys really like it. I hope you subscribe. And I hope you guys come back for more. I will be doing a Dollar Tree video pretty soon. Probably here within the next couple days. And I can promise you it won't take a week to get this one. And that's all I can say. Thank you guys.